Pericardial stitch, please. Could you give the heparin, please? Okay, 21,000 units of heparin going in at 8.45 a.m. Okay, thank you. That's 21,000 units of heparin at 8.45. Bill? Yes. Here's your ACT sample. Great. Can I have the aortic first string, please? Can I divide your lines? Uh, you know what, Dr. Stump, the uh, ECT just stopped at 280 seconds. Okay. I recommend giving another 10,000 units of heparin. Okay, Bill. 10,000 units of heparin just went in at 858. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's 10,000 units at 858. Mm -hmm. And 315 yards before bypass. Okay. Dr. Stump, you may divide the lines. Thank you. Bill? Yes. I have another ACT sample for you. Great. Thank you so much. Are you ready to cannulate? Uh, one moment. The ACT is 400 seconds and rising. We are okay to cannulate. Knife, please. Cannula. Hey, you've got your arterial line. Um, I got a good pulse down here. I'm going to test the line. Okay, good line pressure. Line test is good. Bill pressure looks good. good. Wrapping now. Stitch for the SVC. Can we have the uh, pump suckers, please? Suckers are on, sir. Good. I'll, I'll give uh, Neo if necessary to keep the pressure stable. Okay, thanks. Yeah, blood pressure stable with a mean of about 80. Line for the suckers SVC camera, please. Stitch for the IBC, please. Wrap's going well. Mean of 70. I haven't had given any Neo yet. Okay, thanks. Line for an IBC channel, please. Hold on that wrap for now. Okay. Okay. You got your venous line? Okay, thanks. So, Bill, the pressure's dropped to about a mean of 50. We're getting, I'm getting, yeah. getting some phenyl effort. Okay, perfect. I'm going to start to vap just a little bit, see how much I can get off here. Giving a little more phenyl effort. Okay, thank you. Total of about 80 mics so far. Are you ready for bypass? Right. You know, yeah, I'm, I've stopped vapping just now. Uh, I'm done with the prime. Uh, ACT is 480 seconds and still going. Uh, arterial and venous cannula positions look good, and uh, we're going on bypass. 34 degrees, please. Okay. Okay, coming up to full flow, we're at an index 2. We are cooling to 34 degrees. Greg, you want to turn your lungs off? Okay, lungs are off. Flush your cardioplegia to me, please. Okay, flushing cardioplegia. Gas is on, Doug. Thank you. How's your bypass? Uh, bypass is good. Uh, my venous return looks good. The heart looks a little full. Let me adjust the IBC candy a little okay. bit. Oh, yeah, my Does that get you some drainage back? It did, sir, yes. My level's getting a little better there. Okay. Otherwise, you ready for a cross clamp? Yes, sir. Bypass looks good. Oxygenation is going well, and uh, I think we're okay to cross that. Okay, drop your flow to 500, please. Float on 500, sir. Thanks, on. Back up. Deliver your plegia antegrade, please. 800 cc's. Yes, sir. The flow is coming back up to an index of 2, giving antegrade cardioplegia 800 cc's total. Flow looks good. The root feels fine. 
Okay, great. Give us 800 cc's and then let me know again every 15 minutes. Yes, sir. We'll do 15 minutes on the update. Okay, that cardio pleat is going great. 9 degrees C is the temperature. We're coming up to 800 cc's total. That's 800 cc's of cardio pleasure. I'll let you know in 15 minutes, sir. Thanks. So that was a, an improved example of initiation of cardiopulmonary bypass. And what, what's important here is that we know right away that the team is in synchrony and there's a lot of task relevant and patient centered communication. There's not too much communication. People are describing everything that's happening, but it's certainly not silent. So, so we know this is a team in, in synchrony. And I use some of the non-technical skills um, taxonomies such as knots and ants to, to really try and pull out the behaviours that, that underline this. And we can see using those systems that situation awareness behaviours are really clear and improved here. So level one, gathering information, level two, understanding, and level three, predicting what's going to happen next. And there are several examples here of closed loop communication in, during heparinization, initiation of bypass, and cardioplegia delivery. And Finally, th there's also a layer of politeness here. People are saying please and thank you. And there's a warm and fuzzy feeling in the OR, which is great. And that's a really important um, um, aspect of professionalism. But it's not a replacement for good communication. And it's not a marker by itself that the team is, is working well.